Speaking of MD's white flagship vehicles, there are actually plenty of options available, but high cost performance models are rare. Today, we will introduce the MPG X870E Edge Wi Fi motherboard, which is one of the few unique options of the X870E series and features the strongest MD chip, offering eight additional PCIe lanes and significant USB expansion upgrades. In addition, it has USB 4 Type-C with 4G speed and 6 full-speed USB ports. The motherboard also offers PCIe 5.046 and PCIe 404 along with 3.01 mA with 2 PCIe 5.0 and 2 PCIe 4.0 protocols. However, the second one shares bandwidth with high-speed USB 4, so users need to configure this in BIOS if needed. The M2 slots feature MSI's innovative spring-loaded drive latch mechanism that ensures a seamless installation and removal process. Additionally, the white motherboard boasts a PCB emblem crafted on the reverse, enhanced heat armor for effortless assembly that garners top ratings, and an improved graphics slot lock that simplifies installation and usage. The power supply parameters are 14 plus 2 plus 1, with three heat pipes connected as a whole with solid CC material. The 14 PWM controllers weigh around 350 cells using the MP2857 with a maximum of 712. The Dr. MOS is designed in parallel with model MP87670, supporting up to ATA. This setup, along with premium 8 layer PCB and dual 8B connectors, handles the power needs of AMD's heavy duty processors like the 9095. UX with ease. Truly, my assessment is that the motherboard surpasses initial expectations even when paired with a powerful AMD 9950X processor. Pushing all BIOS settings to their limits, operating the CPU at 5.4 GHz and conducting an FPU stress test that draws 300 Dablao, the peak temperature detected on the heat armor did not exceed 65 degrees. In conclusion, this power setup is highly reliable, even for future releases like MD's 99950X3D series processors. The biggest upgrade by MSI lies in memory overclocking versatility, with the MPG X870E motherboard featuring OC markings up to 8400 MHz. This simplifies the overclocking process, especially given the limitations of the CCD and IOD architecture on AMD platforms. MD offers options for both screen splitting and non splitting setups. The selected memory for this setup is the Expo compatible Red Flag Raider DDR5 Hera Shadow with specs of 6400 MHz C34 for 4G. When the BIOS was configured to automatic, the frequency climbed to 8000 MHz, surpassing the C38 specs found on alternate platforms. Degrees and packages directly get seconds to kill clearance and perfectly pass the performance test. Weekly benchmarking doesn't look great. MSI has prepared delay killer and high efficiency memory mode in BIOS for you. Switching can give you a slight lead in benchmark performance. As long as AMD doesn't need to move the voltage, it can pull 8 GHz. I won't talk about the value of this frequency, you should understand it. Of course, this is high frequency splitting. Conversely, at the same frequency, these can be applied to the red flag preheater tuning fork PU parameters to be pulled to 6600 MHz and further compressed small parameters. After still enabling the delay break function, performance and fractional 8 GHz don't vary much, which basically reaches the watershed of the system editing of AMD platform's DR5 batchless situation. There's no rating for memory overclocking. My feeling is MSI's enabled stuff. You can only analyze his motherboard's BIOS IQ optimization at 7 seconds 3 adjustments. Now you can rest assured that giving parameters like voltage auto all handed over to the motherboard to fill for you, it's accurate, won't be much worse than your own pressure, might be the same performance under double pressure, the motherboard also adopts intelligent system. This kind of memory bad reviewer player is directly out of a job. Anyway, back to more interfaces on memory multi-channel. I won't introduce much about the body, usual routine, add him a direct official form. Interested students can check it out themselves. Here, I believe the commendable part is still MSI's additional power reserve interfaces for PCIe power consumption and the virtually standard debug checklist and ICOM interface this time. It can convert the fan into five auxiliary ARGB USB functions. For some of the cable-heavy water cooling, this might be a good solution. As for other parts of the materials and details, 12V four-frame function interfaces provided eight, one CPU fan, one water pump, and six case fans, enough external fan sections, Additionally, the I.O. panel part includes one key BIOS update and CMOS 760K standard. Needless to say, high and low distinction according to usage quality, avoiding accidental touches, little details should also be praised. Coin part also gives SPDIF integrated graphics and one that supports 8K 60Hz HDMI 2.1 protocol slot in place. Powerful, must mention integrated graphics output interface not enough, can't connect several screens out to watch stocks. But logically using this board, no discrete graphics using multiple connections for stocks is quite something. The main control for USB is detailed ASM 4242. 
considering heating. MSI also equips it with basic heat sinks with Thunderbolt 4 and USB 4 dual mobility performance is quite authoritative. This part is a square ALC 40 on 80 signal common in mid to high end motherboards. Quality is decent, no further discussion. Wireless card part uses Qualcomm QCN CM865, supports Wi-Fi 7 protocol 2.456 GHz tri-band short, supports 320 mAh bandwidth 14 nomad compatible with Bluetooth 5.4. This alone costs nearly 300 bucks. Combat power is not bad. Gaming part gives RTL 8126 real body combined is top configuration. Max power consumption not exceeding 1.5 volume. With X5 cable can easily achieve full speed 5G internet speed. Knowing this combination materials are indeed substantial. Masterboard still rare for white PCB series. BIOS also uses new optimized graphical design. Smart overclocking AI optimization assistance settings. On Android, assorted fast disassemble and assemble features exist, coupled with software. Ah, uh, there's nothing much to complain about. This MPG X570E Tomahawk Wi-Fi motherboard, along with many other features, really has no points for me to criticize. It's very versatile. I believe if you have high-end AMD CPU usage needs and plan to upgrade in the future, trust me, this motherboard won't disappoint you.